uh, uh, we will be solving another problem uh, in section 4.8 which was discussing further simplification of a force and couple systems this is actually a problem for 117 in the book in your book 14th edition uh, uh, I hope you have your books on you anyways uh, we'll, we will try to solve this problem together now in this problem it says that you need to replace the force system acting on the post by a resultant force so we have all these forces see three forces uh, one angle is given here the slope is given and then we have a uh, horizontal force acting on the beam here so we have these three forces and we need to uh, find the resultant so we need to replace them by a resultant force and then we need to specify where its line of action intersects, intersects the post AB. So here we have our post AB. And then uh, the question is telling us that our uh, force is acting somewhere on the member. And its line of action, I don't know, it could be like this, like this. So it, intersect, it should intersect this beam at some point, from point A. So he's asking, or the question is asking us to find that distance from point A so the line of action of our force should intersect the beam somewhere here at a distance I don't know D could be one two three I don't know so somewhere here so what we need to do first is that as we've learned so far we need to find first the uh, first we need to find the resultant so we need to find our resultant force now as we already know the resultant force has two components one in the x fr in the x and the other one you guessed already in the y direction so now we take our convention starting with the x component we say that in this direction this is positive fr of x equals summation of forces in the x direction so now let's take them one by one if we start for instance with this force so its x component should be here it should be 250 in the positive direction multiplied by the slope which is 4 over 5 so this is 250 positive multiplied by 4 over 5 right now if you take the y component it's going downwards so it should be negative minus 250 oops sorry I apologize I apologize no so we are just actually working with the x component oh careful I also make mistakes sometimes so we're done with this force and we go for, with and work with this force so uh, this one is going in the negative x direction in direction so this is 500 multiplied by cosine 30 also this one so this is minus 300 okay so this should give us a magnitude of minus 533.01 newtons or we could say this is 533.01 in this direction then we go find the y component of the force convention upwards is positive fr in the y direction equals summation of forces in the y direction now we go back to, to this force remember we said it's going downwards so this is negative so this is negative 250 multiplied by the slope which is 3 over 5 right and then we go work with this force this is 500 going in the uh, positive y direction so this is plus 500 sine 30 I guess that's it and this should give us something like this is 100 newtons and obviously obviously it's going upwards in the positive direction okay now you get you go and get your resultant so your resultant basically is the root mean square of the square sum of its components this is 533.01 squared plus 100 squared 
and this should give us something like almost 500 approximately 542 newtons now as you might have guessed probably let's just draw it here so we have we have uh, our force in the I don't know just 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 ignore these these values or I don't know what this force should be so for instance I don't know let's just say here so this is our fx fx was 533 approximately in this direction and then we have our y resultant uh, our y component sorry this is 100 newtons okay and now we need to find so resultant force should be somewhere here so we need to find this angle from the x axis so theta now equals tan inverse the fr in the y over fr in the x so this is fr in the y was 100 over fr in the x 533 almost 532 and this should be something like 10.6 degrees so now so this is our resultant force fr this is 542 newtons newtons and this theta is 10.6 degrees 10.6 degrees sorry probably it's not really clear but it's just 10.6 degrees here now 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 we need to find this distance now we need to find this distance so we said earlier that this is the distance that we actually care about from here to here to the lower t okay now you go ahead and use the moment equation to find d so we need to find the moment of all these forces about point a about point a now why because we need to find this perpendicular distance so if you use the principle of moments the principle of moments now we actually we wouldn't really care much about this resultant force because it has its components so we use the principle of moment to find uh, the moment of these two components about point A which is equal to the definitely a uh, moment of this resultant force about point T and then we add up all the other moments to get your uh, I don't know moments and so on so if you find the moment about point A then we say we take this convention as positive so this is positive the resultant of the moment about point A equals to the summation of moments for all the forces about, about point A using principle of moments here we get now we start one by one right so this is our 533 newtons the, the x component the x component so if you find the moment if you, if you want to find its moment about point A it's definitely 533 multiplied by the distance but again the direction as you can see it, it's trying to pull this beam in this direction right in this direction counterclockwise so this is positive so this is positive 533 multiplied by d now if you go for this force you can see that this force acts along or the line of the action of this force is actually passing through point a so it would give zero moment so this is minus or plus whatever 100 multiplied by zero so we don't really care about that and then you go this equals to this is the summation of moments for all the forces about point a now we start with this one the 500 newtons the 500 newtons has two components as you might remember the x component and the y component we start with the x component so this is the 500 cosine 30 and then it's trying to pull this member in this direction counterclockwise so this is positive so this is positive 500 cosine 30 right multiplied by perpendicular distance this is 1 plus 1 this is 2 now if you go take the y component and this and here please be careful I'm, I'm going to enlarge my screen you see so this point is here 
or here. So the distance, the perpendicular distance between the y component and the or point A is basically point two. Be careful, this is point two, not zero. So point two. So point two and this is going clockwise, clockwise. Right? Remember we said that you can extend the line of action of the force here, and then point A is to its right. So if you pull point A upwards, it's going to rotate clockwise. So this is minus clockwise. So this is minus 500 sine 30, right? Multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is 0 0.2. We're done here, and then we go here, right? So we take the x component and the y component. So if you take first, for instance, the y component, this is now it's rotate if you if you if you uh, uh, take point a or you go around point a so you're going clockwise so this is actually negative so minus 250 multiplied by you're taking the y component and remember this minus not it's not because force is going downwards it's not because force is going in the negative direction we don't care about that now we care about the direction of the moment itself and the direction is negative that's why we are using the negative sign so minus 250 multiplied by 3 over 5 multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is 0 0.5 and then the x component this is this is the x component here this is the x component right again the x component if you just extend its line of action here and then it's trying it will try to rotate the number uh, clockwise so the x component would also cause clockwise rotation or negative moment so this is minus 250 multiplied by 4 over 5 multiplied by the distance perpendicular distance this is 1 plus 1 plus 1 and these should be 3 and we're left with our last force which is 300 newtons 300 newtons would cause as you can see counterclockwise rotation so this would give us a positive moment plus 300 multiplied by the perpendicular distance which is 1 now, if you solve for d, it will give you a, more, a value of d or, uh, for d of about, or actually exactly 0 0.8274 meters. And that's it. If you have any question, you can send me on Teams. Thank you very much.